Good morning, Hoover Math and Science Academy students and staff. Hi, this is Madison, coming to you live from the WHBR studio. Today is Wednesday, January 11, 2017. The temperature in the village of Schaumburg is currently 27 degrees. Later today, we are expecting a high of 39 and a low of 19, with rain and drizzle. Now, please stand and join us in saying our nation's pledge. Our pledge field for today are... to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In sports, last night, the Bulls lost to the Washington Wizards by a score of 101-99, to and the Blackhawks won against the Detroit Red Wings in overtime with a score of 4-3. to Clubs meeting today are... First Grade Poetry Club in Room 108 at 11 o'clock. Kindergarten Poetry Club in Room 101 at 11.45. And tomorrow morning, Third and Fourth Grade Battle of the Books in the Library at 7.45. Now a message from Mr. Schmelzer and Mrs. Ankrum. Thank you, Madison. Good morning, Hoover staff and students. Hopefully you're having a great day today. Good morning, Mrs. Ankrum. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too shabby. Good. We're going to try something again today. Mrs. Shoemaker, are you in the office? I am. Mrs. Shoemaker, what day is today? You know what day it is. It's fondly referred to as all day. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Day or not? The choice is yours. <laughs> yes, it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Anything new with you? No, it was great to see everybody back from break. So I hope you enjoyed your time off. What did you do over break? What did you do over break? That was to you. No, I'm. It was to me. Yeah. I didn't do a whole lot of anything. What did I do? I didn't do much at all. Relaxed. What did you do over break? We had lots of family members over, so yeah. got to see family and friends. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Is that a sweater you got for Christmas? No. It's an old sweater. How about you? Is that like a new jean jacket? Nope. I've had it. Yeah? It's old. Yeah, from junior you're, high? You're tight. <laughs> Oops. Okay, jean jackets are still in, just so you know. I didn't say anything about I'm them sure being Taylor out of Swift style. wears jean jackets, and she's really fashionable. Is she? I wouldn't know. It? Taylor Swift. Yeah. Oh, she does. I'm sure she oh, does. Really? She has different colors, too. Do you just want to, like, we could swap out. Did you get that tie from, like, Harry Potter? Because that's what I I was did. Like. It's okay. so funny that you just, would say that. Just curious. I lost my train of thought now, though. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, that's right. There's no school on... Monday. Monday because of... Martin Luther King... Birthday. Junior's birthday. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, no other announcements? Nothing, no. right? All right. We're going to start access testing next <laughs> Tuesday. Teachers, we appreciate your flexibility. We know that it's going to throw schedules off. Students, please bear with us as well. Um, there is going to be testing starting next week in a lot of different spaces. So please make sure that you're extra quiet in the hallways so that we can respect those who are testing. Have a great day or not. The choice is yours. Thank you, Mr. Schmelzer and Mrs. Ankrum. You're welcome, Madison. Every Wednesday from now on, we'll be giving you the Word of the Week. We hope you'll try to use the word in your daily conversation. Our first Wednesday's Word of the Week is in mirror. In mirror is a verb that means to confire or enclose within walls. The origin of the word comes from the Latin morris, which means wall. For example, the puppy is in mirrored in his cage. That's all for today. This week's pictures and sign-offs are brought to you by the second graders in room 202. Have a winter wonderland Wednesday. <laughs>